The MHA for Torngat, Torngat Mountains excuse me, delivered an impassioned speech at the House of Assembly today about inequity in her region. The moment came after MHA Brian War took issue with Leela Evans for implying people don't care enough about suicide rates on the north coast of Labrador. War says Evan was wrong, Evans was wrong to say that and said government has done considerable work when it comes to suicide prevention. Here's a part of Evans' response. In Nunatsivut, Northern Labrador, the Inuit women have a 31.5% higher rate of suicide than on the island. Uh, in the reports that we've seen, 20% higher in Labrador, but on the North Coast, we have, um, we have a significant higher rate of suicide. And what it is, is when you look at uh, all the issues that's been brought forward by the Inuit and by the Innu, it is about really what's at the root of suicide for our women. We also have missing and murdered indigenous women and girls. Why, why do we have an acronym for that? Why did we have to have a, a, a huge inquiry into the missing and murdered indigenous women and girls in Canada? It was because of inequity. Inequity where women actually didn't have access to a safe and adequate housing, did not have adequate uh, ability to heat their homes and protect their children and actually feed their children. Uh, food insecurity, uh, uh, housing. The, I, I spoke yet, uh, the earlier what contributes to suicide. The, the national, the federal uh, uh, housing advocate actually came to my district. And you know what she, she said? She order has please. nightmares. Order please. She has chair, nightmares. In my district, since I got elected in 2019, there's been very little to do with uh, housing. There's been very little food, food security. This government took out the freight boat from the island and we look at the prices now. The prices in the stores, people can't afford to feed their children. We look at electricity. We are punished for being remote. We are punished because we rely on diesel. And so what ends up happening is to prevent us from using electric heat in our houses, uh, basically the rate goes up to 19 cents a kilowatt hour. I've actually listened to both sides of the house talk about uh, uh, the price of electricity because of Mushroom Falls is going to go up to what? 15, 16 cents a kilowatt hour, and everybody was outraged. Oh, how are we going to heat our houses? People are going to be frozen out their homes. We actually cannot heat our houses with electricity in northern Labrador. That is not right. And so when I talked to Newfoundland Labrador Housing, they said, oh, well, you know, we want them to use alternate sources such as like Hollywood and, and, and heating their houses with, with stovile uh, furnace oil. But you want to know something? We can't afford the stovile. A senior does not have the ability. I talked this morning. You want to talk about caring. If you care, you have an obligation to help. You are elected to this House of Assembly to help. So if you care, Order, please. help me. Order, please. Do you want to finish up your remarks pertaining to the point of order? I, I can go all day. I can go all day about disenfranchisement. I can go all day about really why, what's at the root of suicide. So I, I do understand that we're all human beings and we do care. But at the end of the day, if you're elected as an MHA to represent your district and the province of Newfoundland and Labrador, you also have to help the most vulnerable. And in my district, we have the most vulnerable. 